Broadcasting live from the True Crime Today studios to the world. To the world. This is Murder in the Morning with Tony Bruschi and Stacy Cole. From the Hit Killers Podcast, Murder in the Morning. Lori Vallow Daybell. Oh, the fun don't stop. You remember her, right? She's the one who... Uh, dubbed her kids zombies and they were dark and her ex-husband died and then her new husband Chad's wife former wife dies her two kids die they go off to Hawaii for a romantic vacation while Dateline stalks them down <laughs> uh, and yeah uh, eventually found uh, guilty of murder of a lot of people She's still got one more trial left in Arizona, which uh, as of right now is not happening. It's uh, been vacated uh, pending a mental health exam. She's not going to pass that. I know she passed her other two when she clearly shouldn't have. I'm thinking the bar's not that high. Uh, or it, to, to, I don't know. It's um, going to be uh, fascinating. But uh if she does go back to uh, to court now, she wants to represent herself. Is what she's saying. Um, it's part of the reason she's going for the mental health exam. Too. Yeah, it, she should talk to Sarah Boone about you know finding an attorney. Yeah, it were there's a I, there's a nice little I have Sarah Boone's um, uh, poster right over here. Could there lend it to her. Just change uh, the name and the inmate number and. Sure, you'll get somebody great. The uh, charges uh, in Arizona related to the death of her fourth husband, Charles Vallow, and the attempted murder of her niece's ex-husband, Brandon Boudreau. According to the court documents, Vallow uh, Daybell filed her request to waive her right to legal counsel on October 16th, followed by a motion from her public defender on October 21st to withdraw from her case. Where the judge has postponed making a final decision on DeVallo's uh, request. Uh, until she completes a competency evaluation under Arizona Rule 11 process, which will determine her mental fitness to represent herself in court. Wouldn't this be fucking awesome? If she decide, if like she passes and then she literally does her own defense. Up on oh, the stand. She'd probably preach. She'd probably preach the whole time. Wow. I, I have a feeling it would just become a public spectacle. Oh, of course it would. Of course it would. You put that shit on pay-per-view. <laughs> it it's like, fuck it. Like, we're not going to just do this for free. We're doing pay-per-view. You'd make millions of dollars. Uh, this isn't Fallow Daybell's first encounter with a mental health evaluation. In February 23, a psychiatric assessment revealed that she suffers from a delusional disorder strongly associated with hyper-religiosity and has an unspecified personality disorder with narcissistic features. Uh, the <laughs> diagnosis have followed nearly nine months spent in the Idaho State Mental Hospital to restore her competency before her Idaho murder trial, where she was ultimately deemed mentally fit to stand trial. Her case's frequent delays and unusual twists, of course, have kept it in the national spotlight. During the Idaho trial, where she was convicted of murdering her two youngest children, Tylee Ryan and Joshua J.J. Vallow, along with Tammy Daybell, the former wife of her fifth husband, Chad Daybell, prosecutors presented evidence of the couple's extreme religious beliefs. Testimonies highlighted that their shared ide ideology of light and dark souls, in which they allegedly believe certain individuals could be dark souls possessed by malevolent entities and referred to as zombies. Prosecutors argued that these beliefs fueled the pair's uh, actions, asserting that Valo Daybell and Shad Daybell killed to remove, quote, dark souls from their lives, uh, paving the way for their future together. Chad Daybell. Isn't that uh, called just unfriending people? I mean, um, they uh, they really unfriended people. Uh, yeah. Chad Daybell, the self-published uh, author of uh, apocalyptic fiction, because it's a thing, uh, is currently on death row following his uh, conviction for the same murders in June. Their uh, intertwined beliefs and relationship reportedly began as an affair 
while both were in active uh, in an active doomsday cult that held apocalyptic and religious views. Uh, their uh, prosecution in Idaho argued that Vallow, Daybell, and Daybell used these beliefs to justify their heinous acts, leading to, of course, the intense media frenzy around the two. Further adding to the intrigue, there's this fascinating phone call between uh, Lori Vallow and her oldest son, Colby Ryan. Uh, it's on YouTube on his channel. Just look up Colby Ryan and Daybell. Uh, and uh, it... Uh, it's a long conversation. It shows her denying responsibility for her children's death. In the call, Valo claimed that her daughter, this is the craziest thing, Tylee accidentally killed JJ and then took her own life. Yeah. Great. What if Tylee was holding JJ down and trying to get him not to scream and be loud in an apartment? What if she held him down too long and realized afterwards that she had, uh, what she had done, she told Ryan, who responded with shock at his mother's assertions. Uh, Dave uh, Vallow also claimed to have run out of the apartment upon finding her children dead, suggesting that someone else disposed of their bodies. Quote, I wasn't aware what happened to them after I left that scene, she added. Their spirits were gone from their bodies. They were already in heaven. The uh, initial trial was for February of 25. You can now plan a vacation there in case you want to, because it's not happening. Uh, and now hinges on uh, Valo Daybell's upcoming mental health evaluation to determine whether or not uh, this goes forward, whether or not she can represent herself in court. <laughs> I'm saying this is one where I'd like to bribe the mental health evaluator, just going, let her pass. <laughs> there's, there's something in it for you. <laughs> just, I just. Because I, I want to see this. I want to see this. And, and maybe people are like, that's horrible. It's inhumane. She's, yeah, you're right. But she did a lot of inhumane shit to a lot of other people. So I don't feel one fucking bit guilty about saying that I'd want to watch this. It's, you know, the perfect me would be like, I hope she's just being taken care of in the mental hospital. But the, um, the darker side, the more vengeful side wants to watch this trial. Yeah, it makes me wonder if they would actually have it... Um viewable by the public i mean the rest of her stuff has been no. i wonder if they would allow that this time well hers wasn't viewable by the public last time it was audio only if you remember and i barely remember yeah, yeah it was audio it wasn't was it? audio only but i don't i mean if you're gonna represent yourself fuck um i i would hope i would hope that it is i mean if not fuck i'd I'd be willing to travel for that one and go watch it myself. That would be a vacation. It would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would, it would definitely be something. Um, that would be very interesting. You know, and the thing is, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm wishing ill on anybody. It's like, this is her choice. If she wants to do this, then do it. You did. You committed these crimes you want to represent yourself, go represent yourself. Let's watch this. Why does she want to represent herself? She's nuts. I mean, I, That's why. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm not nuts. So I'm trying to come up with a, a rational reason for it. And I guess I can't. Because she thinks no one, I, I'm sure she feels no one understands her. I, I'm guessing like, you know, when she has her attorneys in there and she's spouting off about, you know, the kids working at, you know, the Costco in heaven, uh, mm -hmm. that they're like, okay. Mm hmm. But I'm sure she's getting the vibe that, uh, she thinks that, that they think she's crazy, but she believes she's not. So she thinks she's the only one who can accurately defend herself and be able to verbalize what she's going through and what actually happened better than any attorney could. I bet you're right. And that's really frightening. Yeah. It's part of the disorder. I mean, she really believes that she is a very important person. I, well, Ted Bundy, I think thought he wasn't a killer too. Yeah. And he 100%. represented himself. And um, I, cause yeah, I mean, I think, and the thing is, she would be up there telling you what she believes. I don't think she's lying. 
I, I think she would be telling you what she believes. It may not be true, but I, in her mind, I don't think it's a lie. I think it's it's really what she believes as reality. Well, and keep in mind, I mean, she she honestly, like, I think you're the one who even said this to me. She truly believes what she's saying. Yeah. So, you know, if you threw a lie detector test on her, she'd pass. She would. She truly believes that this is a universe where there are dark souls. And it, a part of me, when I was hearing her story, I'm like, yeah, I've, I've met some dark souls in my life. I get it. Yeah. But I never thought of it the way she did. I mean, she it's twisted. Mm hmm. Um, I, I just, I think she is so far gone. I'm surprised she's not medicated and locked up in a hospital. Well, like permanently. Yeah. I mean, that she could end up there. I mean, if the evaluation shows that she is not competent, that's where she's going. There will be no trial. She will go there indefinitely. Um, until she's deemed fit for trial in, in which she may never be. So, yeah, wow. that's where it all could uh, could end up pretty quick. What an interesting family dynamic, you know? Well, we ne we now know that if, if this does go to trial again, it's going to be a very different trial because she's now tested. She's this is evidence. That phone call is now evidence uh, in the future of her saying what happened with those kids. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. That was something that did not exist during the last trial. Jesus. Oh, I'd hate to have the last name Vallo right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or Daybell. Uh, those two, uh, not yeah. exactly high on the list uh, for anybody, uh, but there you go. Uh, we'll we'll uh, keep following this. And as soon as we know something back uh, from that competency exam, which I would guess we're probably going to hear about that in the next weeks. Probably, probably within the next month, I would say. So uh, probably won't be long before we find out the, the next steps for Lori Vallow Daybell. You're neck deep in a dark, twisted tale. And just as the tension peaks, bam, a commercial about some miracle diet pill breaks the spell. It's like finding a fly in your soup after the first bite. But here's the fix. True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. You get to enjoy your crime stories without the junk, add free episodes, extended interviews that go beyond the surface, and early access to all the gruesome details. It's like swapping out a can of cheap beer for a glass of fine whiskey. So search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe and keep the darkness flowing uninterrupted.